Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Aqui Bear. This is a very interesting water purification machine that sells for under 300 bucks and it uses what's called reverse osmosis, or RO for short, that's able to filter out any water, including tap water, but also dirtier water. In fact, you can even dump Coke, coffee, or any soda into it and it will spit out clean drinkable water without any odors which is really interesting. Regular water purifiers will still remove things uh, like heavy metals from the drink and just basically clean it up but reverse osmosis filter on here also removes bacteria and viruses. It's a more rigorous filtering process that is also going to make the water safer to drink as a result. Also has a very long lifespan. They claim that this thing will last for about five years before the filter needs to be swapped out which is going to be considerably longer than many of the other cheaper water purifiers that need to be swapped every few months. Now the other part that makes this machine interesting is it also can supply hot water uh, in as little as three seconds. So how it achieves this feat is not by boiling the water ahead of time, but only boiling it when you need it. For example, the tip here is going to heat up to a really hot temperature over 100 degrees, and when you tap on dispense the water, if you're in the hot water mode, it will then basically when the water trickles down, start to boil at this point. There's definitely benefits to this approach of instant hot water because when you are just not drinking hot water, the rest of the container can still remain cool and fresh. You only are heating up as much as you need to drink. I mean, I'm sure we've all been in cases where we want to get up and just drink a cup of coffee, but then we come over, realize that there's no more hot water, we set down some water to boil on a stove or on a electric kettle and then we have to wait you know 15 minutes for it to finish its job and then we do something in the time and then we forget about it we come back and the water has cooled down again and we have to reheat it again and again uh, which is just pretty cumbersome versus something that just instantly does it as you need it all of this is encased in a pretty interesting package i think is relatively stylish with these accents that are neon colored gives it almost a retro vibe and it's relatively compact as well it also has a detachable little container that's built built in. As it is purifying the water, it's going to store the clean water inside of this container, which can actually be removed from the unit. You can just pour it uh, or you can put it into a fridge if you want to further keep it cool. And of course, saving the earth because you don't have to use as many, say, plastic water bottles. And then on the side here, we do have some touch controls that are backlit when the unit is turned on, allowing you to change settings like how much water you want to dispense, as well as if you want hot water versus cold water, and also if the filter is working correctly. Down below here, there's also a catch which uh, prevents some water from dripping. This is a part that's also magnetic and just kind of attaches onto the base, as you can see there. It also has some metallic accents on the arm here, and the arm, in fact, even pivots. So let's say I don't want the water to kind of come out from the side. I can actually rotate this to have the water come out from this side instead. Here's what the top of the Aqui Bear looks like. So again, some metal accents on the part that actually is spitting out the water. And then there's a handle for the water refill compartment that you you can detach just to kind of pull on this section. This is how you can remove this to fill in the tap water. Put in as much water as it allows up to this maximum line. There's also some sensors on the edge here that will basically detect if there's water inside or not. When you first get this out of the box, when new, it has to go through a rinse cycle to automatically clean the filter out. So the first time that you pop in water, it's not drinkable. It's just going to try to rinse everything internally and do a self-clean cycle. But afterwards, it'll be ready to go. There's also a mono beep speaker that will chime and give you some alerts like when the water is finished. So right now, our compartment for the purified water is actually detached, but if I press it in, you'll hear it beep. And that means it's ready to go and the purification has automatically started. So there are smart sensors. If you remove any of the modules, the process won't work. So it will detect once everything is in place for the purification to begin. So you can hear this is the background noise that it produces as a purifier for the reverse osmosis. So it's not completely silent, uh, just a little bit of white noise in the background. So to completely purify kind of this pitcher's worth of water, it will usually take around four minutes or so. And once that pitcher is filled with water, you can then drink it immediately as cold water or into the instant hot water. So you do still need to wait a little bit for this purification to complete. And you can kind of see the process happening here as the pump is uh, then basically filling this pitcher with the clean, purified water. Pretty cool to see and as it slowly creeps up. The water basin, by the way, is able to basically fill around 
two of these pitchers if you have it completely full. And each of the pitcher's size is able to cover around uh, two standard water bottles of water. So if you completely empty it, it will fill up about two of these. So in total, you'll get around, I would say, four standard water bottles out of uh, each full a resin of tap water that you pop in if you fill it to the brim, which is decent, but the capacity is still a little on the smaller side. If you have a larger family or if you are someone that wants to drink, you know, the standard eight full bottles of water per day, you may have to actually end up refilling the box on the side there with more tap water halfway during the day. It's also really simple to operate, just basically plug and go, so there is no smart connected function in terms of a companion app. It doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi or anything, so that is one thing to keep in mind, but really you don't need that for something as simple and straightforward as this. One thing I will point out is like all reverse osmosis or RO-based water purifiers, not 100% of the water that you pour into the vessel is going to be drinkable. In this case, out of this particular bin, expect the bottom quarter of the water there, about this much remaining, is actually the filtered out or kind of dirtier water that is not really drinkable, that contains more contaminants, which is perfectly normal in just the way that RO technology functions. So as a result, this water you shouldn't drink, you should actually pour out before you dump in more water for it to then continue to clean. So this water, you don't have to necessarily just you know dump into the drain, you can still use it to water plants. In regular kitchens, it will be perfectly visible by the way it's just right now because we have so many bright studio lights hitting on it it is going to be not as easy to see but overall it is working well enough you can see that there's a red light on that acts as a basically a safety lock so right now it means that none of the controls will be activated by accident if you're picking it up but if you tap on unlock now everything can be pressed the first icon there to basically expel the cold room temperature water the next one here is going to be the instant boiling hot water the one down below here is going to be a auto clean clean cycle. So if you want to clean the filters at any stage, you can do that and it will just keep on rinsing things. And then some of the flashing lights here, it means that the reverse osmosis filter is working correctly. It hasn't turned red. And we can also see in the very top here, basically the amount of water you want to dispense. Right now it's set at maximum, which means that the water will continuously spit out until we tap on stop. Or I can set it into one of the presets, such as 8 ounces or 12 ounces, so that it will automatically stop dispensing at the amount of filling up a 12 ounce or 8 ounce cup. So just a demo on that, we're going to put a kind of regular water bottle here and just start dispensing the room temperature water. And you can see there that uh, the process there will start. So now it's stopped because it's filled up to 12 ounces. And the water tastes very natural, very fresh. Press on the hot water icon, wait one, two, three seconds. And now the hot water here has come out, as you can see there. So one of the things to keep in mind with the hot water is because it's getting heated at this tip, uh, as a result, the water can sometimes not go down and as regular of a flow. It might kind of splinter a little bit on the sides because the water temperature is being extremely heated at this nozzle. Uh, so as a result, you have to maybe put the cup a little closer to the top here. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Aqui Bear. It's really impressive in terms of all the attention to detail, including the magnetic parts, the fact that even the hinge here can pivot, and we also are able to control things very easily and even have a pitcher that can be removed with the purified water. So overall, a very neat design. So if you're interested, you can check out more details in the links down below. But thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. It's been the Aqui Bear.